Dose of Common Sense. We're your hosts. I'm Jim. And I'm Kelly. Think of us as your grandparents around the dining room table, only he's the really old one. Yeah. All the gray hair. Love you, too. I know you don't want us to sit there and say, oh, you should do this, you should do that, and you already know everything. Well, unfortunately, that takes a autocitas attitude. Pig That's, Latin. Yeah, pig Latin. It's Latin for self-centered. And that's what we're here to try and stop because we've observed how bad it is getting in our society where everybody's centered on themselves instead of centering on each other and making sure we all enjoy this journey. So just open your mind and listen to the podcast. We're going to discuss common sense, manners, etiquette, and we're going to do a few different, um, we'll do a different subject each podcast and we will be using um, quotes out of the Emily Post kind of guidebook for etiquette. It's not a guidebook, it's a Bible, it's huge. So today's topic is... You said we're a go. But look at you. No, stop. Damn it, just wait one minute. (sighs) No, cell phone etiquette, stop it. Bad. That's pretty rude, isn't it? it? Happens every single day. So Kelly's going to read you a little passage on the Bible from Emily Post. Emily Post, cell phone etiquette. Without exception, turn your device off in a house of worship, a restaurant, or a theater, or during a meeting or a presentation where it might disturb others. Amazing that we have to tell people that, but... We do. You go into theaters, you see the big sign that says no cell phones, but yet people still don't turn them off. It's just very frustrating. It is frustrating. So in our next segment, we're going to show you real quick a a Nissan ad. So during the 2020 Super Bowl, Nissan produced an ad for the Nissan Rogue showing all of its safety features. So I've captured that commercial because it shows everything that's wrong about the personal devices in today's world and on top of that it it does not have any sound so we're just going to talk over it the world of distraction yeah it just blows me away the amount of people because that is not an exaggeration here's a restaurant Restaurant, scene the wait waiter carrying the food and can't even you know can't even get off his phone yeah that that's that service the people on the TV and walking by, literally everybody's on it. Oh, here's the playground. Yeah, the playground. I mean, come on. You're in the outdoors. You're supposed to play with each other, you know, on the on the jungle gym. I, I don't understand all the phones in everybody's And then hands. here's the girl that's on yeah, the... hanging uh, upside down. The monkey bars hanging upside down. And we just had this conversation yeah. about it. So the, the unison swinging, the kids being babysat by the cell phone in their stroller. Yeah, let's enjoy the world. Well, that's, but that's what parents do. So many of them have the Kindles, the tablets, and not even just their cell phones. And they give those to the kids to just entertain them in a restaurant instead of talking to them or, you know, in the car. Because I know the, the drive is long and... You know, they're using all these devices as a babysitter. Now we have the bus driver going down the road with a uh, cell phone planted in his face so that he can both drive and look at the cell phone at the same time. Pretty impressive. Pretty scary. But the whole bus is filled with people. That's, you know, wonderful. And the car swerves because of a safety feature. I have no idea what the basketball court does other than the misses the basketball. But construction workers busy on their phones instead of getting their work done. It just, it, that's well, the commercial. It, it's, it's so disturbing to me that this is so realistic. Well, it's sad that they have to put, all the car manufacturers have to put sensors now to protect people because people can't use common sense when they're driving. Yeah, and that only makes it cost thousands of dollars more for all these super sensors. You know, I understand it's for safety, and we have nothing but safety Nazis in our midst, 
but the bottom line is if we were courteous in doing the right thing, we wouldn't need all these safety features. So also with the cell phones, it's very important to have blackout times. In order for you to be able to sleep at night, you need to have a good hour or more of no, like, blue light, no cell phone, no tablet, no computer, no computer games. You And definitely, you should not sleep with your phone under your pillow. A lot of people sleep with their phone under their pillow. You need to, you know, if you have to have it off to your nightstand because you don't have a home phone, a lot of us do not have home phones, that, you know, that's understandable, but do not be looking at it and trying to sleep with it. So don't use your cell phones to babysit your kids in the restaurant so you don't have to listen to them, I'm hungry, or doing any other things that they just love to terrorize parents with. Also, just be courteous. Don't be rude. And if you're in an enclosed space with a bunch of other people, you don't need your cell phone. If you do, go stay home and be a hermit in your your mom's basement with your cell phone. (laughs) You know, at least the kids are getting out, whereas we used to worry about with, with Nintendo that all these kids never get out of the basement. Well, now the, the advent of smartphones are actually outstanding yeah. in fresh air. Not doing anything, but they're still standing right. in fresh air. Right. Our email is at the bottom of the screen. Our website is a dose of common sense.com. I've almost forgot it. And all that gray hair. Please. <laughs> Visit our site. We have it in both audio and video podcast. And on top of that, we do love... She doesn't like the trolls. I love the entertainment of trolls. I think it's funny to see what these idiots write. So troll us, please. So that she can get over this fetish about no trolls. Anyway, I'm Jim. I'm Kelly. Be safe out there. And thank you for joining us.